Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to go ahead and hop on here and record this video for you guys this week, um, mainly because I don't have time to edit much else. So, um, yeah. But I recently just got back into town from seeing my brother in Colorado. Um, I filmed some stuff there, both for the GMFST YouTube channel as well as for this channel, but I just haven't had time to edit. And I'm actually going back out of town tomorrow um, to take care of some other business things, which is really exciting. But um, I just wanted to hop on here and, and talk about some things because I haven't had time to edit another A Way Out video. And also that's old content. That was from streaming back in 2020 when AG and I actually recorded that. Um, and so it's, it's kind of felt like I've just been getting a video out just to get a video out. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm really hard set on getting you guys a video once a week. It gives me a deadline, it gives me some motivation. It's something that really makes me committed to creating and coming up with stuff and finding time and making time to work on stuff. And it's been great. I've been finding improvement and passion within editing itself. Like it's been interesting. It's something that I never thought I would become more and more interested in. And I think I'm improving on the videos. I don't know if you guys think so, but to me, it feels like I am. Same thing with the thumbnails. And that is an accomplishment. And it's an accomplishment that I can hang my hat on and be proud of myself for. And that's an important part of life is to find the things that make you proud of yourself. That's good for your health. That's honestly how life should be. You shouldn't be valuing it based on other people's opinions of you or the stuff that you're doing, but really the steps that you are taking to better yourself or to work towards something that you want to achieve. And that's one of the things, to improve constantly, each and every day. Um, that's been a goal since I was a kid, from sports for everything else. And being able to do that on YouTube is exciting. For me. Uh, the podcast seems to be doing well. A lot of things seem to be doing well. And I feel like I'm starting to hit my stride and find some different things I'm passionate about. And one of the big ones is traveling. And I'm hoping to do it more, especially after being able to see my brother just recently when I hadn't seen him in so, so long. Um, for those of you that don't know, I was gonna see him over Christmas, but his flight got canceled because of all the snowstorms that were happening over on the East Coast. And he had to cancel. And instead, of course, he flew to Hawaii and went paragliding because, you know, he's a world-class paraglider and that's what he does. But it was really cool just to be able to go out there and spend that time with my brother and to be able to get out there and help myself with my mental health by getting out in nature talking with my brother, playing games with my brother, and just getting away from the monotony of the day-to-day. -day. And I think a lot of you guys can relate to that, getting stuck in the dreariness of having to repeat every day. And that's okay. Um, and if you enjoy that, that's honestly amazing, and I'm excited for you, but it was something that I was struggling with. And honestly, recently I've had a lot of struggles with relation to finding what my next project is what my next passion is, what it is that I want to pursue. And I'm still figuring that out. And honestly, I am finding passion in that process now, and it's exciting. Um, especially having that conversation with my brother and how he ended up finding paragliding and a few other things that he's been passionate about. And being able to literally hang on the edge of the cliff without ropes or anything and just have the only worry be my life. And it's like what Alex Honnold said in the podcast when we interviewed him, that that's a healthy thing because it puts life in perspective. It lets you know and reminds you what matters most. And so I had a great trip and I recorded during it. And you'll see some of that footage when I get around to editing it. But honestly, just wanted to get you guys an update and let you know that I'm doing well, I'm traveling. I'm figuring stuff out. Being out in nature and hiking has been amazing. Seeing new things, meeting new people. Um, I got to meet a bunch of my brother's friends, um, a whole bunch of stuff. And so there's an excitement on the horizon. And it's okay to feel lost sometimes. And that's something that I've realized more recently as I've been struggling with that and trying to figure out what it is I want or what is my next big project or my next passion or what it is I want to pursue as what I want to do for the rest of my life. 
yeah, I love creating stuff for you guys. I love doing the podcast. But like finding something that's really my own. Um, whether that's making music with traditional guitar lessons and starting up voice lessons soon. Or whether that's literally just the enjoyment of going out and hiking or going out and traveling. Finding those things that get you up in the morning and make you excited for the day is something I think is a key to happiness. Finding the stuff that's worth striving through the pain and suffering to improve at it or to get to that point is what's worth it. It's finding out the things that are worth the pain or suffering or the struggle or the problems to make you excited and find the joys in those struggles. It's like when people work out, you get sore. It's painful, it tests your body, you push yourself to the limits and it's, it's not fun sometimes because in order to get to the progress that you want, you gotta find that joy and put up with that pain. And I feel like that's the same thing for every aspect of life. Whether you want to be a content creator or you want to be a movie star or you want to be a lawyer or you want to be a teacher or a biologist or an engineer truck driver, a nurse, there's a million problems that everyone is going to have and finding the joy in solving those problems and going through and dealing with those problems, that's how you find what's exciting for you. Because you have to balance out like the high moments, like the accomplishments. It's not about what you achieve or the top of the mountain, but it's the journey along the way that matters the most. And you need to enjoy the journey because otherwise the destination will mean nothing once you get there because you'll be like, yeah, I achieved this. But then there's nothing. It's empty. And that's something that I've struggled with and that's something that I'm still trying to find. And I'm throwing darts at a dartboard and trying a bunch of different things. I'm excited to share all of that with you as I go through this journey of finding my next passions, finding my next pursuits. Maybe it's gonna be writing the book that I'm gonna start working on. Maybe it's gonna be learning to fly a plane or paragliding with my brother more or hiking or rock climbing or bicycling or maybe it's just working out. Maybe it's, who knows? But I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna try a bunch of things along the way and hopefully document a good amount of it because that's something I enjoy more than anything, is being able to share things with other people and to get to know other people. And maybe me being able to share that part of me with you will allow you to get to know me better. Maybe when I get out and about, I'll run into a few of you, which I always enjoy hearing your stories and being able to talk with you guys. But anyway, didn't feel like I had a lot to say, but yet I just said a lot. So <sighs> I'm excited. I'm excited to go on the journey of figuring out what it is I want to move towards. Who future me is and who I want that future me to be. So anyway, I'll see you guys next week or whenever. Um, I'm going out of town again, which is why I had to do this video. But anyway, hope you guys have a fabulous Labor Day weekend. Smile always. And I will see you next week and whatever that video ends up being. Take care, everybody. Bye.